Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. So in this video I'm going to be showing you some tips and tricks on the iPhone 12 Pro Max. So the iPhone 12 Pro Max is a big phone and it is difficult to reach everywhere on your screen. So what you can do is you can enable reachability. So what you do is you go to settings and you scroll down to accessibility and say touch. So here you can enable reachability. And what that means is if you swipe down like this, it will make it half the screen size so you can access the top applications. So it's nice to know some gestures. So you swipe down here to get your control center. On the other side, you swipe down for notifications. If you swipe up and hold here, you will have the app switcher. And you can swipe up to remove apps. So to go quick between apps, you can swipe on this black bar to go to the previously opened app. I don't like a busy home screen and I don't like a lot of apps on it. So I made a previous video on how to customize your home screen so you go check that out. So here is just a few slides and not all my apps are on my home screen. So if you tap and hold on the home screen, so here you can edit your home screen. So you tap on these dots. So if you select this button, it will hide that specific home screen. So there it won't be seen. So if you hold it to the dots again, here you can select it again and it will be visible again. Thanks to iOS 14, if someone calls you, it won't take up the whole screen. So let me show you. So here's someone calling, here you can see the call coming in so what you can do is if you swipe up you will see the call is still on it is just muted so if you click here it will be a full screen so with any app you can customize how you want to receive your notifications so to do that is you go to settings go to notifications and you click on the app that you want to customize the notifications of let's say messages so here you can click if you want it to show on the lock screen, notification center or the banners. You can have all three and if you want your lock screen to be clean, you can turn that off. It will just be in the notification center and the banners. You can also customize the sound of the message that you want to come through and you can repeat alerts. So some people miss the home button that was on the previous models and it is on the iPhone SE but you can do that on these phones. So how to do that is you go to settings, accessibility, touch and assistive touch. So if you enable it, here is a button. So you can put it there and here you can change on the single tap to go to home it back and then on double tap you can say let's say the app switcher so if you go to the home screen if you go in any app and if you click this button it will take you directly to home so that is if you miss the home button so if you double tap on it it will take you to the app switcher and you can customize it like you want you can say open menu and if you click on it, it will open a menu for you where you can go to the notification center, device control center. Because this is such a big phone, I think this is a nice setting to have so you can easily access whatever you want to access. If you download any app by default, it will go lay on your home screen, but you can change the setting so that it will go automatically to your library. So to do that is you go to settings, and you scroll down to home screen. There you can add to home screen or add or add to library. So if you go to your camera and you go to video, you will see here is some text and those texts are clickable. So if you click on the HD, you can switch to 4K and if you click on the number next to it, it will change to 30 frames per second or 60 frames per second. And you can also go to settings, go to camera. 
So you can access the format settings to switch between different settings. So the iPhone 12 Pros do allow you to record in high dynamic range, including Dolby Vision. So if you go back to your camera, here you will see a green light. So that green light says that both your camera and your microphone is in use. So if this was helpful and that you enjoyed this video, please give this video a big thumbs up, leave a comment down below and please subscribe to my channel. Hope you guys have a lucky day. Bye!